Hmm. We have a commentator. All right, you poor souls of BGBC. Rambos on the mic to keep you company. <laughs> What's up, Andrew? Good. My brother. Uh, okay, I will. And hello, hello, chat. I won't be able to see your messages, but I do see an exciting game happening right now. Um, yes, it is Zones Palutena, London's Beast versus Ghidra, American's Titan. And it looking like a bad spot for Ghidra now. He, can, he can't make that bad, surely. Oh, is he full time? We are not having fun on the side. Unfortunately, I'm surprisingly the C4 did not connect. I think he, he looked fine to me how he did it, but hey ho, very bad deficit right now for Ghidra. And he, <laughs> guy is having a whole battle on his. <laughs> He's fighting himself now. Like, too much uh, detonation occurring right next to him. And uh, it looks like. Yeah, Zone's just taking it easy right now. I mean, he's in no pressure right now. I'm surprised he didn't hold the uh, shield with two hits right there. I think when I was playing Ghidra, he, ha he does have a bit of a habit of utilizing both hits. Unlike Kodiak, which I think. I feel like Ghidra and Kodiak need to talk more because I feel like. They both have what an edge guard. Great timing, great patience, goes for that hard read of the down smash. Good stuff from Zone. As I was saying, Ghidra and Kodiak, they both have positive gameplay aspects which they don't share. And I feel like if they spoke, they utilize, they they you know crunch some numbers on what's best, we can see some excellent snake gameplay going forward. Not saying that it's not excellent now because look at Ghidra, he's all the way here and loses finals. I mean, he's, he's duking it out with the best right now. Nikita just going across the whole stage and hitting zone right in the forehead. Oh, there you go, doesn't utilize both hits here. Learn his lesson from the previous. Maybe aware that zone might capitalize on it. Ooh, that was dangerous. A bit of a high. Recovery. This is what I don't like about snake recovery. They either go really low or really high, but never in the middle. Why not? I think it's a bit too predictable now. And there we go. Straight into the explosive flame. Broken moves is the start of this game. How has it not been touched? It's been four years now. Lord help me, folks. I really don't want Sakurai in chat. I'm going to tweet this out. I'm actually going to do a poll because I don't understand. Who who in their right mind would want Sakurai to come back? I think I think this guy should dip. He's, he's had his time. God bless him. He's worked hard. Listen, the future is better off without him. Some might be offended, but it's true, folks. This game is a wacky mess. But we love it, don't we? That's why we're here, we're spectating, we're commentating for the passion, for the motivation, for the glory. It's happening right now. And Zone seeking that glory now. Remember, folks, this is a best of five. It's not entirely over for Ghidra now. Can he clutch it back? Going on a small battlefield. I think this is a better stage for Ghidra than it is for Zone, but Zone's a natural when it comes to Paladin, like a true specialist, so uh, he, you know, doesn't matter what stage he's played at the ball, he'll be fine. However, in terms of Snake, I feel like these platforms are, are um, will give him great utility, can move around them, play C4, cover one half of the stage. It's excellent. <laughs> From up top, Nikita! Okay, two hits again, no punish this time. Goes in for the burst option with the dash attack, crosses up with a fair. But, you know, a little tit for tat from both players. They're really, you know, playing around their shields. It's, it's going to be a. Uh, this match is just going to be dripping of damage right now. You know, it's. You can let go of a shield. Let me get this one big hit. Reset to neutral. The zone of landing right on that C4. Grenade time, baby. One, two. Dashes right into his danger zone. He wanted to apply maximum pressure. 
Okay, I thought he was going to go for a back air. I mean, a bit misplaced for that upper. It was good pressure to be in the air with him. Trying to bait something, which he did. Down air. Ooh, that was good. Good read. Lovely, lovely. Jumped over the down two into the down air. And kept that pressure up on the back. And now he's just flexing with the boom. I'm not complaining. I like it. Very sexy. People screaming behind me. This late in the night. Crazy. Okay, go straight into the dash attack. He just had it off. Let me just get this stock. Let me take the lead. One, two, three kicks into a C4 roll. Well, lovely option. Why would you go back? I think he wanted, like, I really don't like that. You got the grab, you see where your grenade is, but you go back to your grenade. Like, I really don't think Zone would choose to roll towards the grenade. He should have stayed where he is. I think that was a missed opportunity. Regardless, he took the stock. But can he win the battle? I hope you like the sound of grenades. Uh, the grenade pin being pulled in the Kisu. He's going to hear a lot of it in this matchup. Oh, oh, pressure, pressure. Oh, went for the bait with the back end. Lands back on the ground and goes for the grab instead. Putting the fear of God. Ghidra. Lovely pressure this time he's going to commit with the backer. It's looking quite rough for Ghidra. I think he feels like he's being strangled in this stock. But, you know, being in the air, being in the clouds, you can reset your mind a bit. You know, daydream a little bit. Think about what's for dinner and then go straight into the battle with a fresh mind. <laughs> well, not that high in the clouds. But <laughs> there you go. Anyway, Adrian back from Vengeance. Didn't really get much from that previous stock, but look at that. It's the magic of a uh, stock reset. He's he's putting he's putting himself a fifth gear. Ooh, drop that drag down with the upper zone. Really keeping the pressure going. He doesn't want to let go of that momentum he had from last stock. And uh, I think he sees that because of the way Gidra was playing last stock. He's found the optimal play style that zone needs to win this game and it's just being relentless of the pressure it's really throwing Deidre off guard right here yeah exactly it's, it's quite hard good stuff from zone really hope I mean Deidre's already beaten him earlier on in winner's bracket so hmm, this is a game of adaptation for both players really hoping now that Deidre can take on board what's happened here find a way around it I think being in the air is not the way. I think Zone's just covering his options too well. And that up air loss, how long? It's dangerous, does good damage, can drag down, can kill. You gotta keep it grounded, folks. Palutena, I think, is weaker on the ground than she is in the air. Or I could be wrong, because I'm not the best expert. Oh my god! I'm being joined by the GOAT, the boss! Focus, miss! You're the one to talk, Rami. You're doing quite well today. <laughs> I appreciate it. So I think I was quite lucky, bro. You you, you, you took your hand that you were dealt with and, and you got the best possible result. I also he got the best roll. possible bracket luck because uh, hey, all the killers were losers anyway. It's so. a fuck bracket, man. <laughs> yeah, it literally is. But you've beat, beaten Emmy and he's beaten you a few times. Yes, yeah. That was the um, toughest match so far. Um, but... You know, I've still got to fight either one of these two. Gidra, who I've got a winning streak on his own, who's been clobbering me as of recently. Both very strong player, though, bro. It looks like Zone is just really warmed up in losers. <laughs> like, he, he lost the Gidra minutes, right? But yes, he did. He's hardly been touched on, the, yeah. on this warm up. I was saying right now it's a game of adaptation. Last game, though, Zone was strangling Gidra. Gidra couldn't breathe at all. Um, but. He's doing a better job here. I think he's slowing it down now and trying to hold his ground, which he needs to do. Because I don't like this. I just said, he's, yeah, he's not He's not learning. I, he did this last game. He keeps recovering high. Zone comes with the up here, and, and that just happens. I, I, whew, someone tell this man. I feel like you're in the, if you're Snake there, you're just in a rock and a hard place. Because, like, yeah. I'm sure like, he died there. But if he goes to ledge against the Ultra Zone, he dies as well. Yeah, yeah. 
Crowther's only cannot... option is to stay grounded. You know, bait out the dash attacks if you could and punish thereafter. No, not again. Up air. Oh, this he's, time he's... he actually gets what, what was different that time is that he, he fell fast and like unexpectedly. Yeah, whereas yeah. before he's sort of just like going high and then trying to play that B reverse game. Yes. Oh, and not only that, though. Zone's always been going for up air because it, it works. You know, Gaedra keeps getting hit by it. So very uh, good choice from Gaedra to bait it out. Yeah. I guess the... Oh Ooh. my god, you oh, can't I'm, go low. Yeah, I better get ready now. <laughs> Come on, Gaedra. Fair? He doesn't really do fair off stage or burst. He's not really in the position that time, but yeah. like you want to when you're playing in zone there, you need to avoid like that sort of falling special because that that's really committable. And it's very risky. But zone often just sort of doesn't get punished for it. Right. But it, it disrupts any setups that Hydra has for the ledge, which yes. is what I guess he's used to. Okay, <laughs> this is a bit messy, and I feel like he just running out of time here. That's nice. Somehow falling through the up tilt and looking for one of zone. It, it feels like he's clutching a straw here, I've got to be yeah, honest. Yeah, he is, he is. It really is. And back air. Uh, it should be it. Yeah, it's going to be over very soon. Oh, That's just okay. BM. That's just BM went for the hardest read. He's expecting air dodge in. Down air? Oh, oh up air. He's going to go for it again. Yeah. Let's hope. Up tilt, there you go. <sighs> too little, too late, I feel. Snake can do some funny things, but against zone, he's not going to get the chance. Yeah, no. He needs three great interactions. So that's going to yeah. end things. Good stuff to zone, I'm gonna play my game. Good luck. Maybe Good I'll luck. do stuff rough. You got a set to play with at the very least. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun. Love that one. Alright. Thanks for commentating me. Let's, Be let's back. go, Rami. See you, chap. Yeah, good stuff from the zone. I would love to see the bracket, because I don't even know if he's actually dropped the game in losers. Oh yeah, I think he might have, he might have dropped a game to Dark Stalker, but other than that, like hardly touched since going down when it's caught Peter himself. Yeah, look at that. 2 -0. This bracket is dire, by the way. Like, if you look at the the bottom half of that, it was like he beat he beat Tekka in for ninth. And before before Tech it would have been Kodiak, before Kodiak would have been me, before me, before, before me it would have been Zangrix. And then yeah, two over over Tekka, two over Trinity, two over over Nemi. Does drop a game to the Dark Stalker, but that happens, they play so much, it's they're just back and forth. And then a clean 3-0 over Ghidra. You wonder who can stop this ultra zone man. He has been on a warpath. Regardless of what happens, both Rambos and Ghidra have qualified for the that Saturday Showdown Invitational because um, Zone has already qualified from last week. So yeah, Ram Ram Ramsey and Ghidra's in for coming third. They're going to be happy to lock in that spot. It's kind of funny that Darkstalker hasn't made it as of yet, but he's just been like running into to Zone <laughs> like too early uh, both weeks. He hasn't had the chance. I was speaking to Zone, and he was just saying that he doesn't care about the, the invitation or anything. He just wants to ruin people's chances. He's, he wants he wants 